I guess it's that time again. It's a Saturday, so that means that it's the grind show. Didn't do the grind show last week, and that's because, well, I was busy with stuff. Uh, but, um, yeah, we're back another week. And if you're not familiar with what the show is, it's basically a collection of information for the foreseeable week that stuff is coming on when it comes to, like, starts of things like Alliance War, the cycle in which it comes in throughout the week, planning your roster, planning your grind, incursion milestone resets, and all these kind of things are helpful. Like, um, what drops on each individual day would not be po would not be possible without the amazing work of Dan of Frontline MCOC. See if you want guides, information, all that lovely stuff. Check him out on Twitter. Check him out in the link in the description. It'll take you to Frontline MCOC, which has all the helpful things. Like what champions are going to be in the featured crystal pool and when it's going to drop, as well as breakdowns of guides and up-to-date information that's going around from around the battle realm. So let us begin. So we kick things off with a Saturday as we normally do. Not much is going to be happening on Saturday. Do look out for event quest completion now if i've done my kind of cycles of times correctly it should be a case that around about uh, 9 30 a.m uk time you'll see a new uh new 22 hour event which should be event quest completion also uh i would say a reminder about uh, the collection of the summer event but now they're kind of on auto claim just make sure to do them that's probably the main thing just make make sure to get your sunglasses and get them done especially i hear a lot of people saying that they weren't able to facilitate a full purchase towards the end of the cycle so um you know try to kind of log in to grab them that's the main thing there's also going to be on saturday an alliance war believe it or not i'm actually going to be returning back to play Alliance War, believe it or not. I can't believe I'm doing it, but uh, those things in a loyalty store interest me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, playing a lower kind of like, um, you know, threshold. And we're only doing two battle groups, so it's nothing really too major. The only other thing that is on is an Alpha Catalyst Arena. So go and grab that. Go smash it up whilst you can. And that's pretty much Saturday. Sunday, not a huge amount going on for the day, but there is some stuff. Now, the first thing, as we say always, is go and check out the 22-hour event, which should be hero use, which is always kind of a very easy thing to do, especially if you're looking to balance up things like grinding through your solo event, which, by the way, is very, very doable, very, very grindable, very, very easy to do, especially if you followed some of the tips and tricks that we've put out on the channel. The second thing that's happening is the objective make sure you know to go do it because as they do stack you will lose them if there's three in a row that are going to be stacked with it and a final thing is letting you know that incursions milestones are going to be resetting i'm kind of interested with in doing incursions a bit more even more so that uh, you know the the a buff at some point is coming down the line and it may be advan advantageous to hoard a good chunk of your dark artifacts maybe for the point that it gets a little bit of a buff quite possibly over to Monday now, and it's business as usual. Do we have a reset? We do of the featured five star, or the limits that is, and as well on the limits for the six star features. So if you're looking to scoop yourself a little bit of a featured goodness with uh, with some of your shards, then do that because your purchase limit is going to reset. So make sure to purchase now, or and, and then kind of like purchase on Monday if you are indeed going to be doing that for some of the spicier champions that you're getting. Or if you're unlike, if you're like me, you're saving up your six star shards for the likes of um, what is it called? Oh, the Gallon and Quicksilver crystals on the first of November. God, I've got to get grinding for that one. That mean Grandmaster Gauntlet's going to be done very soon, and also some other content. Talking and done, you know what I mean. Um, the only other thing that is on because I'm kind of like losing the plot is is that uh, Gallon and Cat Wilson round two. Make sure to lock, uh, kind of keep locked to Marvel Contest Champions news on Monday because we'll go over the arena results. And also there will be an Alliance War on. Very important because like I think a lot of players are going to be kind of finding their feet with the new alliances or preparing for a new season, which uh, is going to be dropping on this particular uh, week in question. And it should be a level up 22-hour um, event, uh, if I didn't mention that already, and as well. Collect your sunglasses or do the event for the sunglasses. It'll auto collect. Tuesday now, and it's a tier four basic arena that will drop for people that are interested in doing it. I've been falling out of grabbing that 30 units uh, from it, but that's just down to like bad timing and uh, other stuff personally I've, I've had on. Second thing is that there's going to be an arena wins on, so try and balance in some arena grind with it at the same time. Grab and scoop those 25 units is going to be helpful down the line, especially when it comes to things like uh, Cyber Weekend that's coming up in the next three months. And, you know, I know people will go like, oh, well, I'm not going to have the units in time. It, it's surprising. 
the little amounts that you get over the over the spaces of the months that lead up to event that kind of go from a little amount to a bigger amount just by kind of like not really doing much in the way of effort. I mean, look, you know, there's been all this kind of like end game content on, um, and yes, I'm a little bit behind with kind of doing it, but still, I'm at 13,220 units and I'm still adding up to that. It's not that they're going down, it's going up. Although I am going to be buying some of the, um, the event quest exploration deals or one of them that's the 1000 units just for what you get back from energy refills which i'm then able to reinvest and then also revives and health potions which i'm then going to save up for things like act 8.1 if that gets announced for next month there's always a process to these particular things um of grind well i think that's really it that's that's what's kind of like on on tuesday wednesday now event quest completion will be on if you've got some stuff like i like to do is just leave some of the last parts the last chapters of the quest grind so it means that i can scoop as many points as possible to then get myself the 25 units and also do not go too ham on it and save back some other ones like heroic master uh, uncollected and cavalier those those four particular quests leaving that last chapter if you kind of rotate that through the month say okay i want to get cavalier done do that grab the points leave uncollected's last chapter that la last two missions in order to scoop back some units from that uh, just so it's like made it a little bit more easier for you when it comes to to doing that and also the Energy use versus points you get back kind of um, algorithm for it. What else on Wednesday? Collect your objectives. That's the other thing. And also we'll be going into the final week before it ends of Eternity of Pain, which I've still got to do, but that's fine because I know my team that I've created for that one. So uh, thumbs up. Looking forward to that one. Should be great. But as well, what else is on on Wednesday? AQ comes to an end point. As soon as it starts, as soon as it ends, all those particular things. Also, it will be the Gallon Solo event week three. This week three is, I'm going to do like videos for this because uh, I did a video for the week two and I'll be doing a video for the week three about, you know, just some like good champions. I'll try and make it like a shorter um, video on that on this time, uh, fingers crossed. And one of the big things that's going to be dropping and happening is that it is going to be Alliance Wars season 36 drop. Yes, it is indeed going to drop with season 36. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Um, I think interesting for me. I don't know whether it's going to be fun, but it's going to be interesting for me to delve in. After, I want to say I've had a break now for three years. Like, I haven't done Alliance Wars since, yeah, 2019. So, like, early 2019. So, it's going to be an interesting one, nonetheless. Uh, and I'll probably do some content. But, to be honest, I'm, I'm only going to be doing it at a low level. And it's only us, our Alliance is not really Alliance Wars focused. We just do like two run BGs as uh, that just kind of like makes it so that we can number one, get the loyalty that we want in order to kind of reinvest it into our own rosters to kind of like acquire champions and get things like what well, acquire the tier six basic and tier three alpha that, you know, a lot of the Alliance will kind of like help to boost up again. Um, and yeah, some shards for it. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not really kind of taking it too seriously, but I am as well. I want to kind of obviously get, um, get something good from it and see what the rewards are when they're buffed so it should be some buffed rewards apart from that that is uh, that's it for wednesday let's move on to thursday part way through the day thursday we'll see a hero use as well make sure to grab your objective and get that done and yes it will auto claim but you need to do it first in order for it to be auto claimed for it the next thing is that there's going to be an alpha catalyst arena for the way for those that are interested in the alpha catalyst arena and also we are going to have the war machine basic arena so look out for the war machine basic if you're interested in war machine go grab it could be a low six star to kind of pick up with pick up so it could be quite good uh, for players that want to grab it and the final thing is that we kick off the alliance war war series uh, with the first war which will be dropping on thursday uh, for people so uh, yeah it's uh, should be fun the final day of the week of course we end with a friday what is going on friday not a huge amount. There should be AQ enlistment uh, for everybody that wants to kind of like, you know, is doing AQ uh, and enlist. So, yeah, that's the thing. There also should be a level up event dropping on a Friday if I've got my days and times right. There could be a bit of a like, difference for that one because like every kind of like time frame means that it's different for whatever. So it could be a case we're still yet to go on to level up. So it could be a case everything just kind of like goes on a little bit of a, a back domino effect with times and hours. But uh, We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm not going to get into the politics of, oh, it's not this time. Yeah, but it's going to be at this time for this this side of the world, but it isn't for the others. Whatever. Essentially, that's going to be what it's going to be. I, I mean, I've, I've explained that um, pretty like accurately uh, to, to people. But in any case, moving on. Class Catalyst, um, Catalyst Clash Arena is going to be up as well. 
as well. I'm not 100%. Well, I definitely know that it's going to be Incursions, Master, and Reset, right? For those that are interested in doing it and also grabbing the Dark Artifacts for their troubles. But the thing that I'm a bit hesitant in saying it could be, could be not. And I did say this last time that going into August, you could see an announcement for um, Act 8.1. It's not guaranteed, it's just a case of going, okay, well, there may be an announcement. Not 100%, um, but there could be an announcement for 8.1, and it could be a case that gives some more details on it. The reason I'm hesitant to say that, uh, or kind of like I mentioned, is that um, Kabam did say announcement in August. They confirmed there would be an announcement in August. We're coming halfway through the month in August, and that's kind of the time I kind of feel like there should be a little bit of hype. I don't know anything about it, so I'm kind of waiting for kind of like more information, but uh, potential, potential Friday. It could even be Monday. Like Kabam like to do either, I think it's like Monday, Wednesday and Friday of kind of like announcement things. But um, we'll have to see if it's going to be dropping on a Friday. Uh, it's quite weird as well because we're going to be halfway through the month. And this is then, uh, as soon as we reach, what is it, the 19th, then the week after we'll be seeing announcements and information or, or maybe like the 2nd um, of... Um, of kind of like September for announcements of things that are going to be dropping in September. So I don't know, like it's crazy old times, man. It's crazy old times. And at this point, uh, I normally do like my top tips, like grind tips for the week. Now, a little bit differently than normal. I've done like top five tips for the month, which if you've seen, you've seen. There's going to be the Legend Legends event, which I think drops on the 22nd of, uh, of August. And we'll have full guides and information for that one. I've done a spreadsheet on that one that has like the prep for it. And then like how it kind of implements the event. And probably one of the main things uh, that I'm going to talk about in this tip is all about energy management. One of the big crucial things is energy management. I'm not saying it's like set a load of alarms for stuff because that's something I did say about the Legends event, but it's up to you whether or not you want the crystals or not. The crystals can be quite good and you can get like a good chunk of them and it, it can be really beneficial for a roster to go, oh, I've just picked up a little chunk of units, a little chunk of revives, health potions, re um, for energy refills. But... When I'm talking about energy, free energy. If you're a free-to-play player like uh, like myself or non-spending, um, then uh, the the kind of like the way that you kind of look at your management of energy is going to be very important to you. The problem is this month is that we have to spend a little bit, just a little bit, in the side quest, and it's all about management of that. When you get like a full kind of load of energy, like as you can see here, quest energy goes up to full. You have to make decisions about where you want to use that energy. Try not to let it kind of run out. If whatever reason you start the day like myself and you've got a load of work to do, then what you should really do is go, okay, well, if I don't have the time to grind out, set it on auto fight for once. And when I'm saying once, I mean like go to like the most uh, end difficulty and kind of like unlock it or something like that. It's more beneficial to do that when you've got event quest completion on because you're like, okay, event quest completion, when it comes on, it has got more points in the further difficulties now again people have lives they have work they have study they have whatever so you get the most points obviously from doing cavalier difficulties so it's not always going to be appropriate to auto fight through to get the particular milestones that you want in order to get the points back but if you want to scoop a little bit then i think that it's always best to kind of go into the lower levels and think about unit acquisition so I, as you can see that i just start i just about to start kind of going in somewhere but i got 28 energy so i can make the decision where i want to go and a lot of times what i do is i kind of like look to i scoop up little bits of units little scoops of units from different places this is why i've gone into normal difficulty and use some of my free energy to grab units and a lot of that acquisition of units i can do at this point in the game by auto fighting through normal heroic and master very very easily uncollected is getting there but it's pretty much there. It's just a case of like the first kind of like elements of difficulty. It's kind of like better with the rank four, six stars, providing they're not in other content. In any case, I digress. Back to the point. And yeah, using your energy. If you do not have the time to use your energy adequately to get anything, you know, from event quest completion, focus on the units and don't feel kind of like, you know, too annoyed that you kind of waste, feel like you're wasting it. Go into normal difficulty, auto fight it. If instead you're like, okay, well, I want to get the side quest done in some capacity, auto fight it. Say, like, you can auto fight like a good chunk. This month, with rank four, six stars, you can auto fight through to, uh, to kind of like the higher kind of like areas of epic. And that's what I've been doing. So manage your energy. Don't lose your energy, especially if you're non spending. If you don't want to kind of grab in you, your units as well and spend your units on energy refills, then manage, manage them kind of correctly.
being in an alliance is going to help as well because you get full energy refills when you kind of like do things like the um, three day events. So item use is currently on at the moment. And when it ends, you get a full energy refill. Great. There's like 10 a month, which means that you get 10 full energy refills a month. If you can balance out that and save, um, which I've been doing right now, saving them up, then it can be beneficial. You can look to kind of acquire more of them in kind of lower content, but it's a very fine art and it's very RNG based. So I've got six right there. You can also look to reinvest those units into things like event quest completion bundles. As soon as you've done the event quest uh, completion, you get an exploration for 1000 units, which will give you something like five and four energy refills, which has got a value of, um, what is that the value of? Or is it 10? It could be a bit more than that, actually. But I definitely think you get some kind of like good value for kind of like uh, for that. I don't have that now to kind of like hand. But the revives you get back from it, the full energy refills you get back from it, and all the other things as well add up to a really good package of uh, of take home for 1,000 units. And it could be seen as a good thing to do, especially trying to do some like more difficult content down the line. In any case, and also get the full energy refills back in. So you get to recycle them through, especially if you put like a, a unit grind package in place that you're like, okay, well, I'll do arena and I'll do this and I'll do that. You can reinvest your units into your grind depending on, on you and what you want to do. But in any case, that's been it. That's been the little grind tip of the week. I'm going to end the video now. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Check out some other content, which will be located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.